Alex, uh, good afternoon, Anina. You are here in Mauritius. Tell us why, uh, what's the purpose of your visit here to the University of Mauritius? So, I was here today just to uh, show off a little bit what data journalism can do for journalism and news coverage. I wanted to show the power and the possibility of data journalism, so I'm also teaching some um, third year students a bit of Excel skills um, and just showing them how to work with data. So, um, how do you think that um, data journalism could work out in Mauritius or in small countries like Mauritius? So I think in small countries as well as in African countries specifically, there's a lot of opportunity for data journalism. Data journalism is a really unique skill that allows journalists to have very unique angles to their stories, very unique ways of engaging their audiences, so there's lots of opportunity and growth that hasn't really been tapped into yet. Um, so definitely if it's something that um, journalists start getting into now, there's a lot of opportunity. Um, so in terms of career opportunities, uh, if you study um, data journalism, is um, is that all you can do, being a data journalist, or are there more career parts? Oh, no, no, there's lots of careers. So, so the skill of being able to work with data can apply in almost any career, because one of the things that, te that working with data teaches you is how to solve problems and how to figure things out, and you're able to read really complicated stuff, and you're able to sift through and really get to the meat of, it, of something. So it, it, it is a general skill. It's actually a life skill that can apply in many different ways. So, um, as a data journalist, what would you say um, is your has been your biggest achievement of the week? Uh, a project that I'm very proud to have been involved with is a project called Climate Tracker, which attempts to make climate change information and data more accessible to the general public. So, we've taken um, rainfall and temperature data, um, we worked with scientists to get that data into a format that's really accessible to people, and the next step will be for us to. Um, also add food security and biodiversity data to that and combining that with investigative and multimedia journalism. So I'd say it's that project.